All right, guys, welcome back. Today we have another GovCon Q&A where you submit your questions or post your questions down below, and then I make a video on answering those. And I do have a question pulled up that I'm gonna be reading to you. It's a little bit lengthy, so we will break it down a little bit. But if you are new here, again, my name is Derek James. Um, I won 32 government contracts worth $15 million by my 30th birthday working for a small government contractor. And today I spend my time passionately helping new GovCons, perhaps like yourself, to avoid the most common pitfalls in the space, especially during the first year that prevent you from winning contracts. Instead, put you on a plan to essentially win your first or your first multiple contracts within a more realistic three to six month range. That's kind of what everything that I do is geared towards. So today's question is, hello, Derek. I hope you're doing well. I'm trying to learn about government contracting, but I'm not sure what is the right and legal way to go about it. I'm so confused about what to do after winning the bid, as in, do I need some personal employees of my own with the help of using a subcontractor as well, using the middleman strategy question mark, or do I not necessarily need any employees of my own? Also, do you have a mentorship program? Okay. Um, we currently are not running any mentorship programs. I am going to do a video um, at the start of next month, kind of explaining um, what's kind of going on with mentoring and all that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in that or whatever, just stay abreast for that video. I'm not saying that we're going to start doing it. I'm just going to kind of like let you know where we're at in the business. But more specifically to this, the rest of this question now, um, I guess the first part is, I'm not sure which is the right and legal way to go about it. So... First and foremost, you definitely want to get the book, The Legal Middleman Method, okay? I'll have a link down for this book below. It's 200 pages, paperback uh, book. I wrote it, of course. Um, it's helped so many people and it's, it's just, it's really good. And I know it's really good because of all the feedback you all have given to me. So I will point you to the first section, which is page 33. So, Part one, regulations. So the, the fundamentals of this question are rooted in not fully understanding what makes a, a middleman move, if you will, for a bid where you 100% uh, you know, subcontract out, middleman the, the job, 100% do it, right? You're not 100% sure how to do that. And that's what uh, you need to understand that's what the book breaks down. So the first part in this is going to explain to you what a legal pass-through scheme is. So it sounds like you're familiar with like not wanting to do it like the, the, the wrong way. So, you know, that's good. Um, but what it sounds like you're lacking an understanding on is the right ways where you could do a 100% full middleman, right? So we have um, a section here on full and open unrestricted competition. Uh, I'm not sure how good you can see this. We've got below the SAT. We've got above the SAT, so we're referencing simplified acquisition thresholds. We're also looking at FAR Part 13.5. Um, so there's a number of chunks here that are really, really important that you, you need to understand um, in order to really see if the opportunity that you're looking at, because every bit is different, as I like to say, to see if it is an opportunity where you, you have the space to do a full legal middleman move or not, because it's not something that you can apply to every single bid. So it's part of your qualifying process, right? It's part of your, your bid, no bid process. We talk about this in the book, the course, many videos as well. So much is, is built up to being able to actually read and discern and identify what kind of deal, uh, you know, prospectively you are working with, with the government to know what are the certain strategies that you, that you could use and apply to it. Legal middlemaning being one of those. So now the second part of the question is, I'm so confused about what to do after winning a bid. As in, do I need some personal employees of my own with the help of using a sub, or do I not necessarily need any employees of my own? So just to be clear, if you are doing 100% a legal middleman move, you don't have to have those employees. The purpose of employees is to meet a minimum self-performance uh, percentage, right? So if we're looking at construction, 15, uh, professional services, 50%. A lot of you in the space are familiar with those percentages that they exist and you know a little bit about what they mean, but um, it gets confusing when you're doing legal middlemaning because you're like, well, do I have to meet those or not? Do I have to do both? Like, how does it, how does it work? So again, if you're doing a full middleman move 100%, that means you are working with uh, more than likely a similarly situated entity company, which we explain in the book, or um, you're working within the confines of a contract 
where limitations on subcontracting just do not apply. And so I give you those FAR regulations. I show you when it, uh, when it applies, when it does not apply. So again, just um, it seems like this question, you're, you're hitting on a few different angles and really the, the deeper message that I'm reading between the lines on this one is just needing to truly understand better like what, what it is and what it is not so that you know when to apply it. And then, you know, kind of what to do once you get the award. There's just one other section in the book. Um, and for those of you who have already have the book, then you probably already know what I'm gonna say. But we have the, you're saying once you win, so we literally have section five, award, okay? It's probably not showing up clear on the screen. Award, what, what do I do next? So then we break it down, step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. And then after that, we go right into contract management. So this, this isn't just about, and I tell, I tell you guys all this all the time, this is not just a book about legal middlemaning. I mean, I'm selling the book, but I'm not trying to sell the book. It's just, it's so relevant to this question. I had to bring the book out for this one. Um, I, it's not just about legal middlemaning. Like you, you have to understand the full process. And that doesn't mean just understanding how to work with subs as teaming partners and then like figure the rest out. The book takes you all the way through award and post award so that you, you're not you're not left hanging. So that this is a full process that you can practice as like a skill, get good at, and then start to repeat and just build and win more contracts. And you can literally like build your whole business using this from pre to post award um, and then have all the regulations and all the strategy that you need to essentially do it. And we have people doing it. Like we get emails every single week with folks saying that they're winning their first, their first couple just from the book which is new to my world because I've never written a book before this year. So um, it's been really, really fantastic. So again, the link for that will be down below. And again, this is Q&A. So if you have a question you want me to answer, drop that down below in the comments. And if it's something that I think would be a good fit and we get a lot of interest in it, then maybe I'll answer your question in the next video. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Have a dope ass day.